Hello and we're going to have a look at installing Oracle's VirtualBox and we're going to do that via the VirtualBox platform and the VirtualBox extensions and then later in subsequent videos we'll have a play with VirtualBox not least bringing in your first virtual machine. So what we've got in front of us is in fact if we look under the control panel if we go and have a look under system security and we have a look at the system we can see that this is a, in fact a 64-bit operating system or Windows 7 Professional. So that's the host. What we're going to do is now bring in VirtualBox. So we're going to go out to the internet for that and in particular we're going to go and have a look for it's, it's actually Oracle that built this, so it's a virtual box, which is probably all that you need to actually Google on, and downloads. So we'll have a look in here. Now, as you'll see when we get in here, as I've done for all of my machines, in fact, so far, is I'm using Windows, uh, the virtual box version of 5.1.22 for the Windows host. You could alternatively have this for your OS X or Linux or even your Solaris distributions. So picking out the right host type will mean that we'll start downloading so we can save that away. And also what we'll notice is underneath that is we've got Oracle Virtual uh, virtual machine virtual box extension pack and that's for all supported platforms so it doesn't matter which one of those you use as your host you'll need one of these as well so we'll save that as well and those two downloads are making their merry way into our downloads folder so we can see that the extension pack is already loaded and we can see that the virtual box and that's the platform itself uh, download has completed as well so let's run the first of those we'll next to that we'll next to that this is where you can start modifying things in here but I pretty much go next to that as well uh, yes it will give you a little bit of a flip on the interface but don't worry about that it should install so letting it do its work is something that we allow it to do. There we go, the obligatory yes to let it do the install. And away it goes quite quick in this phase. So we can let that sort of run away in real time. Not long now. So he's right into registry, a couple of flashes in the background. And here we are, we're in, we're in to finish. So uh, we could pull that up and have that running uh, and that will give us our virtual box uh, window, which we can see there's an icon now has appeared down here on the taskbar and that's the virtual box icon, as we can see. That's the virtual box of manager. Now, the other thing we had to do was the extension pack. So the extension pack is sitting there waiting as the downloads so we can actually open that and allow that to install fairly quick packages to bring into play but there we go so install is what we want to do yeah the obligatory I'm sure we've all read those yes to that and OK so all is done there's the bare bones so if we just um, just pull down the thing, there we are. We've got two of them now because of what we had before. So there's the Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box Manager. So our job now is to actually bring some virtual machines into VirtualBox.